Most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, it's hard to believe that it's early April with the kind of weather that we had today. 71 here after 11 o'clock. There's not a lot of humidity, and that's the way it was earlier today when we hit 86 in Springfield. That tied, by the way, the record high for today of 86 degrees and went back to 2011. I like to call today's conditions summer light conditions because we had the warmth of summer. I mean, average highs in the mid-80s, that typically holds off until about the middle of June. Uh, but we didn't have the humidity. I think that changes tomorrow. Humidity will come into play on Tuesday, and it will be very warm again on Tuesday. So those are some of the severe weather ingredients that will be on the table for this incoming storm system, which is currently making its way across the western United States at this time. Locally, it's pretty quiet across the entire region. Really tough to find any active weather, but that'll be different. It'll be a different story tomorrow uh, by tomorrow afternoon and that risk for severe weather in the region will continue throughout Tuesday night into Wednesday. Now I think uh, for the afternoon hours on Tuesday, this is probably where we're going to find most of the severe weather occurring in our region and I do expect another round of tornadoes for southeast Iowa into northwest Illinois. I think locally for us, uh, we're going to get through the morning hours. It's going to be quiet. I think we may get through the afternoon hours with quiet conditions and the reason why is a cap that will be in place stifling any chances for severe thunderstorms. Now it looks like that cap may begin to thin out and erode away as we work through Tuesday evening. Uh, so that may be when we see our first potential round of strong to severe storms Tuesday evening. And I think we may be looking at two distinct rounds. The first round, again, Tuesday evening um, through late evening would tend to occur across this zone from northern Arkansas into south central and southeast Missouri, generally south of I-44. That round moves out and then another round develops here on this frontal boundary, which initially will be the dry line, but the cold front's going to catch up to that dry line. We'll see a squall line develop. Additional storms may develop ahead of that squall line and press northeast into the area ahead of the squall line. That will be round two. I don't think that really develops in our area until midnight and later through the morning hours on Wednesday. With either one of these rounds of severe weather, we are looking at an elevated risk of tornadoes. We're also looking at a risk of large hail, possibly up to ping pong ball size, and we're looking at the risk for high winds. I don't think we have to worry too much about a flash flooding risk with this storm system. Looking at our forecast tonight, should stay quiet. Uh, tomorrow morning looks quiet. I, I think we start the day off with mostly sunny to partly sunny conditions, but the clouds will gradually thicken up once we get to early afternoon on Tuesday and we'll find mostly cloudy skies for much of the afternoon hours. But I don't think we're going to find much in the way of rain. Now as we work through Tuesday evening, here comes that first round trying to develop here in northwest Arkansas that will develop to the northeast across areas like Mountain Home up toward West Plains by mid to late evening and then out of the area by midnight. And then here comes the squall line. That squall line advances into the area during the morning hours on Wednesday. We should see additional showers and thunderstorms develop ahead of the line and push northeast into the area. And either mode will produce a risk for severe weather, but I would be most concerned about storms out ahead of that squall line. Notice at 9 o'clock in the morning, we still got some lingering rain chances east of Highway 63, and then that pushes out and we find sunshine taking over. Also tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, strong winds. Wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour possible here along and north of I-44. That's where we have a wind advisory in effect. 64 for a low tonight. Looks like highs will range from near 80 to the south to mid 80s to the north, around 82 for high in Springfield. After this period of active weather, we're going to get back to uh, bright and cool conditions for the rest of the week. In fact, we could see a frost and freeze potential develop Thursday morning and again Friday morning, but the Easter weekend looks warmer. It looks like we're back in the low 70s on Saturday and Easter Sunday looks nice with partly cloudy skies and highs in the mid 70s. Yes, there will be a risk for storms, but I think we're going to hold that risk for storms off until overnight Sunday night. So it looks like as far as Tuesday night goes before you go to bed, make sure you have some way of knowing. If right. Coming. I would stress that that, you know, this looks to be an overnight event of severe weather when a lot of folks may be in bed and asleep and unaware as to what's going on outside. So make sure you have a way to be alerted if severe weather is moving through your area. OK, and we will be keeping a close eye on it. Mm -hmm. Thanks.